What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and in front of me today I have a project that I'm trying to import Microsoft XNA Framework Graphics to and as you can see using Directriv is unnecessary and it's not working because apparently XNA does not exist within the namespace Microsoft. What does this mean? Well, it simply means that I do not have the XNA SDK on my Windows PC for Visual Studio 2019 and the setup process is a little bit more than confusing. However, there is one particular guide that seems to be very useful, which I'll be running through today from a website called Flat Red Ball. Now, as far as I can tell, this is the most complete guide for setting up and getting XNA to work with Visual Studio 2019, and they also have a 2017 tutorial. However, I'll be running through 2019 because we're inside of Visual Studio 2019. So the setup is a little bit long, so grab yourself a cup of tea and we'll be running through it now. If you get stuck along the way, just make sure to pause, reverse the video, and we'll go through it again. Anyways, the first thing that we're gonna do is download a modified version of MXA Game Studio, which is a set of installers for adding XNA to Visual Studio. Now, this part is important. This is probably one of the most important steps here. If I were to head into the Visual Studio installer, head into Modify Visual Studio 2019 Individual and search for XNA, you'd see there's absolutely nothing. If I search for DirectX, you'll see one down here, which is the graphics debugger and GPU profiler for DirectX, which isn't too useful. On the workloads page, you can probably find something related to, to game development, as you can see over here. However, it doesn't actually install any XNA frameworks, which we're gonna be using for my project over here. So closing out of the installer, we'll also need to close out of Visual Studio as well. So I'll save my project and I'll return to it later. So referring back to the flat red ball tutorial, the first link over here is to download the XNA for Visual Studio 2019. Now it's a zip and inside of the zip is a folder and inside of the folder is a group of folders with instructions down here saying what we need to install in what order. So this process has been super simplified by this tutorial and I'm just running through it here in case you get stuck anywhere. Obviously from this point, if you're happy following the text tutorial, you're free to follow it here. However, there are a couple of extra things that you need to do that aren't mentioned in the text tutorial. So first of all, I'm gonna begin by extracting this to a folder. It might not be necessary, but it's good practice to extract zips before using them. I'll close out of the zip and we have this folder over here. So step number one, installing DirectX. Open up the DirectX folder, double click on dxsetup.exe and it will open like this. I accept, next, next, and we'll wait for it to finish. We'll hit finish, we'll go back a folder and we'll go into XNA framework 4.0 redistribution and we'll open up the MSI file inside of it. We'll hit next. And if you've already got it installed, you have the option to repair and remove. From here, you can probably click cancel if it's already installed. Otherwise, follow with the installation guide. I'll hit repair just to make sure that everything is set up as it needs to be. Now we have it. I'll hit finish and we're done with step two. Then step three, XNA Game Studio 4.0 platform tools. I'll open the MSI again, next, I agree, next, and install. I'll then be prompted for admin and after giving it, it'll finish installing. Finish, and we'll go back a folder yet again. XNA Game Studio 4.0 shared. Open up the MSI, run. Next, I accept, next, install. Hit yes when prompted for admin, and we'll hit finish once it's done. We'll go back a folder again, and one of the last few steps here is to open up XNA Game Studio 4.0.vsix, which is a Visual Studio extension. So we'll wait for this to install and we'll hit install after making sure Visual Studio 2019 is selected. It says that it may cause certain things to become unstable, but I'll hit yes because if things do become unstable and unusable, I can always go ahead and remove the plugin. Now, of course, if you see the screen over here, make sure that you go ahead and close Visual Studio entirely and all of its sub processes. And once you've finished with that, it'll say installing and you'll get to this final screen over here where you can hit close, done. Referring back to the tutorial, we're now at step five. To make the XNA Game Studio files available in Visual Studio, you'll either need to create a symbolic link or duplicate the files into Visual Studio's desired location. So we'll be using the symbolic link because it's gonna save us physical disk space, even though it's probably not that much. So we'll scroll down and you can see first create a new folder in C program files 86, Microsoft Visual Studio 2019, Community MS Build, Microsoft 
XNA Game Studio. So now obviously you can manually navigate to where Visual Studio is installed. And if you don't have it installed on your C drive, then it probably won't be here. In which case, simply locate a shortcut to Visual Studio 2019, right click and hit open file location. And you'll immediately be dropped into 2019 Community Common 7 IDE. However, we're being asked to go into Community MS Build. So we'll go back to folders and we'll go into the MS Build folder, followed by Microsoft. And then inside of here, we'll be making this XNA Game Studio folder. So I'll copy this with Control C, New Folder, Continue, Capital XNA Game Studio, both capital G and S. Then we'll go inside of it. So we'll be creating a symbolic link from this folder over here to Microsoft Visual Studio. So we simply need to navigate to this folder over here, which we've installed XNA Game Studio to. This is inside of our Visual Studio, and we're gonna be linking these other files to here. So I'll simply start R and copy paste that link in to open this folder. As you can see, we're on C drive, program files 86, MS build Microsoft, XNA Game Studio. So to actually create the symbolic link, you can either use a plugin, which I have for Windows, to pick link source and drop it, or you can simply open up command prompt. So to do this, we simply need to press start and type in CMD. Right click, run as admin, and hit yes when prompted for admin. So we'll be creating a link from this XNA Game Studio folder to this empty one over here. So I'll simply copy the URL from this folder with all of the files in it, and we'll type in MK link space slash capital D space inverted commas and we'll paste in where we want to make the link from which is our empty Visual Studio folder. So we'll paste it in close inverted commas space open inverted commas and we'll copy and paste this one over here which has files inside of it as such and we'll hit enter. So in fact that first one didn't work I had to go ahead and delete the XNA Game Studio folder from inside of the Microsoft folder in Visual Studio. So keep that in mind that folder shouldn't exist, even though the tutorial says to make it. This is probably one of the reasons that you came to this tutorial in the first place. So after deleting that and running this command again, you can see that the symbolic link was successfully created. If we open up the folder from inside of Visual Studio, we can see that we have all of the files here. So from this point, we can close both of these folders as well as this command prompt. And that's about it. Apparently now we can use XNA Game Studio inside of Visual Studio. So I'll simply open up Visual Studio and head back to the project I was in. So of course, it still says that XNA does not exist within the namespace of Microsoft. We need to simply right click on our project, go to add, then reference. Then once we see this page over here, at the very top, head into assemblies, followed by extensions. Then we'll scroll down to Microsoft.XNA framework. Simply hit the checkbox next to it. OK, and you'll see that little underscore disappears and we've successfully got XNA into Visual Studio. And there we have it, we're basically done. And there we have it, XNA is now fully installed and ready for us to use with our Visual Studio projects. Of course, if you need to add some more of these references, if we head back to the Reference Manager, Extensions, and scroll down to Microsoft.XNA, we can go ahead and add more of these as we need them. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name is Ben Technobi here for Troubleshoot. I hope this video helps you. And I'll see you all next time. Ciao.